Modern day idols. Modern day idolatry. You see, I put idol, idolatry right here. What's going on nowadays, and especially in this media age and all over the world in many churches, is modern day idolatry. And people not idolize calves anymore. They're idolizing men. And now in the ministry, you have many of these so called ministers who are now trying to make themselves into gods. Trying to make themselves into some idols and people are falling for it like flies. Now for you ministers out there, I'm not trying to do a make yourself in a garden and talk about anointing. And talk about uno anointing. When you talk more about, about uno anointing more than when you talk about uno purpose who uno for serving a God. When you talk more about uno anointing and, and uno greatness and uno, and uno quote unquote power more than when you talk about what uno there for as the fivefold ministers. So this is Ephesians chapter 4. We're going to read verse 11, verse 12, and verse 14 and 15. Alright? And it says, And he gave some apostles, and some prophets, and some evangelists, and some pastors and teachers, for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ, that we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro, and carried about with every wind of doctrine, by the slight of men and cunning craftiness whereby they lie in wait to deceive but speaking the truth in love may grow up into all, into him in all things which is the head even christ but these same same one who call themselves apostles the same one who call themselves prophets and evangelists and so matter of fact nobody want to be an evangelist no more nobody even want to do the work of an evangelist anymore all they want to do is make themselves into a prophet and an and, and apostle but they now serve the purpose of what the bible said them to serve the bible said them to perfect the saints you should be you should be preparing a people fit to meet the lord jesus christ when he come you should be edifying the saints you should be speaking the truth not lies you should be speaking the truth. You should be you should be helping them to the point where they don't have to get tossed to and fro by every fool doctrine and slight of men. But uno we call themselves ministers, uno we call themselves prophets and apostles and whatever they want to call themselves, uno do the opposite. I want to say when they get called for. Uno have a judgment for come because every idol I go fall. All of uno, we are coming to talk about, a talk about uno, uno and nineteen. Like on the face, say, this is about uno and nineteen. This is about uno purpose. If you really get called, one sound to get called for. Do what the Bible tells you to do, and start to do the opposite of it. I speak be a lies, and I'm making yourself into gods. Every day, you know, come, 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 making yourself into God, and you can't do nothing to edify the people. Matter of fact, you destroy the people more than edify them. Somebody can never ask them a question. As soon as they ask one genuine question, where the question is genuine or not, you can't answer the question. So because you can't answer the question, you bash them and call them devil and call them demon and then post them up on social media and talk about pray for them. You know, a hypocrite. What lot of uno, what talk about a prophet and an and apostle and the opposite of one of them, you know, a big hypocrite. And people of God, don't put these people over your salvation. You're not baptizing nobody in him. Let me find some scripture for you. First Corinthians chapter 1 verse 12 to 13 it says, Now this I say that, e that every one of you have, have said, I am of Paul, and I am of Apollos, and I am of Cephas, and I of Christ. Is Christ divided? Was Paul crucified for you? Or were you baptized in the name of Paul? None of you was baptized in the name of none of these people who are trying to make themselves into idols. You are not baptized into none of their name and none of them can save you. No matter what they come and talk about them anointing. You see, if they now serve them purpose as, a, as an apostle, as an evangelist, as a prophet, what they call themselves, or, or a pastor, or so forth, you don't put them over God, over God's word. You them put them you don't put them over God. And if you stop get fooled by these people, especially them people upon the media. We are coming, we are coming to call themselves whatever they want to call themselves. Let me tell you this, first of all, you know, no, 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 can't call themselves prophet. I got to call them that. A God calls prophets. You don't call yourself prophets. 
So the phone come and try, I can try call myself and try and make myself into idols. No go away from here, so and come off of this. Tell me that I don't know. I don't know association with the workers of, workers of darkness. I expose, I come for expose, you know. I don't know if I don't like me, but guess what? We take a stand for the truth and the body of Christ. I will not sit and watch the body of Christ be dismantled and eaten by no fauna. But if they want to put uno, put uno over God, I feel them for that. But it's when it comes to exposure, that's my job. That's my job. I'm like Ezekiel, I come for blow the hand and be a watchman for the body of Christ. I want to so the people are trying to make myself idols as some big wicked. I want to do for after the likes. After the likes, no fauna come, come, come on, pandy social media platform and so forth and tell people in the top of the screen and get you know, to a hundred thousand and get you know, and by the time when you reach a you know, hundred thousand when you just click off when you're busy about your body when you care about people in salvation when you care about people in walk with Christ when you care about people that go through depression and nothing like that when you care not about the people when you care for yourself making yourself into idols but let me tell you this in a, throughout all history every idol fall throughout all history every idol always fall so you better watch on yourself. You don't think I want to try to put on yourself before the Almighty. Deuteronomy 13 verse Deuteronomy 13 verse 4 You shall walk after the Lord your God and fear Him and keep His commandments and obey His voice and you shall serve Him and cleave unto Him. None of them people you know you never cling, you never cling, cling on to, especially the ones them who a contradict the very father where they said they where they said was to send them. None of them you never cling to. None of these people you never cling to. We are trying to make themselves into idols. They all shall fall. Deuteronomy 4 verse 30, 39. Know therefore this day and consider it in thine heart. That the Lord is God in heaven above and upon the earth beneath there is none else so all of you modern day idols all of you modern day gods quote-unquote gods your time is coming where you all shall fall you have to put yourself before God you have to, say, you have to make yourself in a God you have to make this all about your anointing and not about your purpose where you should where you should where you should, where you should serve where you come and speak all type of lies and teach people all type of witchcraft and try to make this all about you and all about what you want and what, what people say about you and people should and people should watch what they say about you and do people know about you. It's not about you. It's not about you. Is it about you? Is it about your purpose and where you should and where, and where you should serve? It's not about you. Who baptize enough for your name? You can baptize nobody enough for your name. Eh? Are you God? Trying to make yourself into some into some idol over the people. And go on like say, without you, <laughs> nothing can go on in the world. But Kuyoto. But Kuyoto. Come on this, I go, on, I go on like so, you know, a God and so, you know, an idol. You better come off of this and, and stop on you know, the foolishness. You better start serve the purpose you want know, to say, you know, get called to serve. Edify the people them. Perfect the people them. Teach the people them truth and stop telling the people them lies. And I make things about Uno. Like on the face of Uno, Uno, Uno create ministries. You think Uno create ministries? Uno get called in a ministry. Uno in the vineyard I work for the master. Nobody knows if it's not about you. Stop making yourself in the idols, yeah? And people, stop worship these idols. Because when the idols fall, all those who worship the idols also shall be punished. All those who worship the idols also shall be punished. Every idol after fall. God no want no other God before him. That a one thing God don't like. That a one thing God don't like is when people put other gods before him. God is a very jealous God. God is a very, very jealous God. So anybody who try to come before him shall be put out. But all those who are uplifting, those who try to come before God, you shall be punished too. Don't put them people over you know. Me know some of you go through certain warfare and so forth. But turn to God. You know some of you go through some rough time and tough time and sometimes when you need the spiritual strength. When you, need, when you really need that building up as, as what they're supposed to do. But let me tell you, majority of them now do it. They come for the seed and they come for tell you about the anointing. They come for them purpose. All idols will fall. All of your idols are going to fall. 
that I repent and turn from now. Don't with me now.